Hello, sports fans. I'm Ken Hurricane Himes, a sports guy that's not shy. Welcome to the Craig Flower Manor, and welcome to the Vancouver Island Scottish Stores Association. Now let's go talk to Ray Shohanovic. Hello. Did I get that right, Ray? Close. It's a, it's a good Scottish name, isn't it? It is, yeah. Ray, tell us all about uh, the sport. Maybe start at the history of the actual sport. Well, the history goes back more than a thousand years into Scotland. Um, back then, most of the implements are sort of things you would find around the farm or around the blacksmith shop, um, weights for scales, things like that. And then it was guys just getting together and seeing who could throw the furthest. And then it was picked up by the King of Scotland, decided to be a great way to test his warriors and to prick the premier ones for his premier guard. And today's modern athlete, how did that all come about? Uh, well, basically the condition is, or the cultural has been going on for the full thousand years. Uh, most of the modern day guys are guys that have done track and field in school or football in school. Um, and of course, after school, there's not as many chances to keep that competitive drive going. And so we naturally fall into something like this, which is a lot of fun. And there's a direct correlation between the Olympics and this sport? Uh, yeah, both the shot put and the hammer throw were both uh, brought from the Highland Games and introduced into the Olympic sports. So can we go look at the uh, our weapons of choice, our tools for this sport? Sure. Let's go. I'm loose now, man. Okay, I'm not overdressed. All right, we're with Lucy. <laughs> That's my cat's name. <laughs> Hello, I'm with Susie Lajoie now, and we're going to talk to the former 2012 Canadian champion of this sport. But first, do you approve of what I'm wearing? Do I look Scottish? Because I'm feeling really Scottish right now. I would put a shirt on. You're what, 5'7", five, 5'8"? Five, no, I'm 5'10". 5'10", <laughs> OK. <laughs> well, oh, yes, yes, indeed. So, are you going to show me a little bit about the sport today and take me over there and uh, I would love to. Put, put me through the uh, paces? Because yes. I would love that. I will teach you the light weight for distance. So behind your back, you're going to spin it around. Okay. Spin it around and a step right across the trig. And two more steps. Okay, so it'll look like this. You're just going to do a one spin instead of the two that I did. Right. You're going to start here. I'll make you foot marks. One foot there, one foot here. And you're going to go boom, boom. And then release. Boom. Is it still going? It's still going. <laughs> we take our last but we can't take our freedom! Let's go toss the cavers! Come on, boys! Let's go toss the ca cavers! It's like balancing a pencil. Okay. It's just slightly bigger than a pencil. Okay. So bend over just some. Bend over, let it come close to your body. So straight up. Come on. Start running. Run. 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 Pull. 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 Hey, how'd I do out there, little girl? You should practice more. The Scottish have an expression. Failing badly is good. What does that mean? That means that when you get out there and you try and you fail, even if it's bad, that's good because you're doing something instead of doing nothing. I'm Ken Hurricane Himes. See you next time.